guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something different, something I, I didn't think I would ever be able to do on YouTube because, you know, I'm just like, I don't think I'm that technically challenged. Well, I'm technically challenged, I'm not that technically expertise. But today's video is going to be a what's on my iPhone video. And I've had my iPhone since October, so this video is a little behind, but you know, whatever, at least I'm doing it. And I do have the iPhone 8 Plus. It's the, I want to say it's the pink, rose gold, copper, that one. It's a 256 gigabyte because I had the 128 with my iPhone 6S. And why would I go lower? So I just went higher. And I can do anything on this phone. So, yeah. I guess I'm just going to get started on this video. On um, this first app folder that I have is my music folder, Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Shazam. I use Shazam a lot. It's really, really fun. Um, if you don't know a song, just go ahead and hit that Shazam button, and there you go. Next is my music folder, photos, not my music folder, my music app that just comes with the phone. Photos, camera, social, um, Twitter, Instagram is, Instagram's pretty self-explanatory. I have my personal one up here, so if you don't follow me, go ahead and follow me there. Um, I actually have three Instagrams, my personal one, my makeup one, and then one for my cats because I'm just obsessed with them. So if you're not following me on those, go ahead and follow me. My Facebook one, Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat. It's not as interesting as Instagram stories, although Snapchat is upgrading just a little with their fonts, so I appreciate that one. Pinterest is definitely a good one. Um, Pinterest is actually upgraded to where you can create different folders. So this is my blogger and YouTube folder. Um, my filters, you guys can see. Instagram how-tos, WordPress, YouTube, and then all my other pins. Um, next is Tumblr. I get on Tumblr every now and then. I started using that as my blog site, but I kind of stopped. Then I have YouTube, YouTube Studio, Influencer. Influencer is a nice little app where you it's an app and a website you can review stuff and they will send you stuff for free to review and as long as you keep reviewing stuff they will keep sending you stuff I have time hops so that it nicely reminds me of stuff that I've done in the past seven eight years which is really nice Bumble followers Bitmoji Messenger BuzzFeed day one Prime Prime is an app that'll tell you when is the best time to post your pictures so that you can get the best amount of likes Blog Lovin' is a nice little other blog site, which I think I'm going to fully transition to that and skip out on Tumblr, so I will link my Blog Lovin' link down below. Dub Smash, Dub Smash, you guys already know what Dub Smash is. Pick Monkey, Pick Monkey is where I make my thumbnails, and I've just kind of been going back and forth of whether or not to even make a thumbnail video, so I think I'm going to do that because just making thumbnails is all about what your video is. I have calendar, I have my money folder, Uber, Navy Federal, Venmo, Venmo is where you send people money and they send you money, PayPal, I use that for some ambassador programs, which are linked below, and then my Google folder is my Google Drive, Gmail, Docs, Sheets, and Google Photos, so, yeah. Games, I have Unblock Me, Temple Run, Mahjong, Whirly Word, WordBrain, Bejeweled, Inside Out, Angry Birds, and the Taylor Swift app. The, the Taylor Swift app is pretty cool. It's not really a game as much as it is just getting and unlocking Taymojis. So I have my photography app. I have two of them because I'm obsessed with photography apps. I know, name someone that isn't. I have the top three that are essentially Instagram brand apps. Hyperlapse, Boomerang, Layout. Um, I have InstaSize, which is a app that will add the white borders on the side of your picture. It won't add it all the way around. Um, there's Polar, PicStitch, SquareSize. SquareSize is an app where you can figure out how big you want your picture to be and then it will add a nice little watermark there. If you want to get rid of the watermark or add your own, you have to pay for it. I'm a cheapskate and I have like free stuff, so I just keep it as is. PicLab, InstaFit, PicJoiner, PicJoiner. Picolage. I think I need to delete the top three because I don't use those. Ultralight Flippogram. You guys already know what Flippogram is. It's a nice app that'll essentially make a collage for you and you can add music. Pixelomatic. Um, 
probably add some pictures up here of what Pixelomatic can do. Watermark Studio is essentially the same as Square Size. Snapseed, Crop VS. I think you can download videos from YouTube with this app or just crop them and make them smaller. Then you have Lightroom CC, which I believe is a subscription app, so that one's going to get deleted as well. Then I have Rookie Cam, I am Facetune 2. I don't have the original one because you have to pay for that one, obviously, so I'm just going to stick with the original one. Airbrush 2, you can also just airbrush yourself and make yourself look more airbrushed. <laughs> Taylor M. Taylor is where you can screenshot someone's message, and if you want the whole thing, you can get the whole thing in there, so that's cool. My books app is actually really cool. I'm obsessed with reading. And I have my Nook app, Wattpad. Wattpad is where users can create their own stories and they can make little fan fictions. And it's actually really cool. Um, let's see if I can open that. This is my library that I have. I have read just about every single one of these. They're really good. Goodreads is a website and it's now an app where you can read books, you can join challenges, you can just challenge yourself to read as many books as you want to. Duolingo is nice. Oops. Duolingo is nice to where you can learn different languages if you want to learn Spanish, French, German, Dutch, Portuguese, Italian, any language that is up here you can learn it. iBooks, that's explanatory. Explanatory? Yeah. Audible, I have not used Audible yet, but I do have a free book up there. It's the You Are Badass book. I haven't read that one yet. Motivation is an app where you can get just motivational quotes from. I used to have one as my lock screen. Daily Bible Verse is obviously Daily Bible Verse. Um, you get notifications of Bible verses every single morning or whenever you want to. Daily Horoscope, it just tells you your horoscope and you can look up other ones as well. And then I have the Bible app. My health, ooh, I have a lot of health apps up here too. I have Lose It. I've had Lose It up here for a very long time. I've stuck with it every now and then, but I don't really stick to it that much. P Tracker Light tracks my time of the month. My Air. I do wear a mask to bed, so this app connects to my face mask so that I can see how well of a night's sleep I get, which brings me to Sleep Cycle. Um, no, it's a G. Sleep Cycle is an app where it's essentially an alarm clock. You set your time from a certain amount of time, so say if you want to wake up at 6 a.m. You can set the time from between 5.30 and 6 a.m. and in your lightest amount of sleep it will slowly wake you up. Um, I have my Fitbit, my MP which tracks my birth control times, whatever. Strava is where, you guys know what Strava is, it's a workout app. You can track your runs, your bike riding, your workouts, it's really nice. Lifecycle is an app that I use to track everything that I've done. <laughs> I'm not going to open that because Lifecycle is pretty cool. Swerk It is an app. I actually love Swerk It. I got it for the first time a few years ago. In just one workout, I was drenched. So that's how good it is. Um, the next one is Headspace if you really want to just calm yourself and meditate. Fitbit Coach, I haven't used that one as much because, I mean, I just work out whenever I want to. Health is the standard Apple one. Think Dirty is an app where you can scan barcodes of what products you have and they can tell you how toxic, how toxic they are or how non-toxic they are. I think that's really cool. Nike Run Club and Nike Training. I don't use those as much now. I used to use Nike Run Club all the time when I used to go on runs. Let's see. My food my food one. Starbucks Krispy Kreme Chick-fil-A Drinks Free. Drinks Free is an app where you can essentially make your own drinks except they have them all listed. So if you need to know what's in what kind of drink, it's up there. Foursquare, Yelp, Panera, Taste Made, Tasty, and Chocolate Sweetie. Weather, WT Forecast, it, it's like a dirty forecast, dirty forecaster. Yeah, Weather Channel and the standard Apple weather one. Next is my second photo and video folder. This one's actually my favorite one. Um, this first one, Focal Mark, it's a hashtag generator, and I actually have a notes folder of all my hashtags that I use, so you can select your different kind of hashtags that you want to talk about, and it's really cool. Preview, I'm obsessed with Preview. Um, I have not paid for the full membership yet, which I'm going to do very soon. Um, you have a Essentials one, a Preview one, 
it's really, really cool. I'll probably leave some, you know, screenshots up here of what the preview app does. Whitegram, I've been obsessed with Whitegram. Whitegram, it adds the white border around all my pictures, which is kind of the theme that I'm going for on my Instagram right now. And I use the size 15, so when I choose the white filter, I just scroll to 15, and it works really well. Visco, you guys have already heard of Vis Visco. It's um, a really nice photo editing app. I'm not obsessed with it anymore as much as I am with preview apps, so that says something. Next is Color Story. I used to be obsessed with that before I was obsessed with preview, and as well as Afterlight. Um, iMovie, I use that to edit my Instagram videos. I don't edit as many now just because they take a really long time. Next is Canva. Unum, I actually just downloaded this one. I think it's the same as preview. You can lay out your Instagram photos so you can see how they look before you upload them to your Instagram. Next one is Camera Connect for my Canon. Next is my Sprint and Moment. I haven't used Moment yet because I just downloaded, just downloaded that one. Um, it tells you how long and how much you are on your phone, so that's pretty neat. Next is my extras folder on my second page. It's just the apps I don't use as much. The App Store, Safari, Settings, Utilities. I don't use this one as much. I use my notes a lot. And where is it? I use Waze every now and then. Gas Buddy is a good one for if you're in a place that you don't know exactly what's around and you do need to get gas. Gas Buddy is a really good app for you to use. Um, back to my other extras one. I use voice memos whenever I do voiceovers for videos. And that works out pretty well for me. Next is my home folder. I'm, I'm obsessed with looking at apartments, so of course I had to have all of my apps for home up here. I have my Trulia Rentals, Zillow Rentals, Trulia Home Away is for whenever you, it's kind of like an Airbnb, and I don't know why I have this one in here. This one's Indeed Jobs, so it's when I have to look for a home, I have to look for a job. <laughs> uh, for my entertainment folder, I have the CW, Freeform and NBC. Those ones are pretty pretty normal for me. Next is my shopper app. I have Old Navy, H&M, Forever 21, Sephora, Ulta, Romwe. Romwe is a nice clothing website. You get stuff for soup. It's not cheaply made, but the stuff is insanely well priced. For um, So for a shirt, it's about like $5.99, whereas any other place, it'd probably be about $20.99. So I like that. As well as, uh, as, well as the website called Shein. Yeah, S-H-E-I-N. And then I have Retail Me Not. Retail Me Not um, alerts me whenever I'm around a shopping area and it has a lot of sales going on. <coughs> so yeah. Target, Amazon, I make a purchase there about once a month. Etsy, Charlotte Russe, American Eagle, Victoria's Secret, Poshmark. I do sell stuff up there every now and then, but I just haven't gotten rid of that notification. <laughs> Sorry. Next I have my Like to Know it app. If you don't know what Like to Know it is, it's um, Instagram is starting to do recommended posts. I know it's annoying, but it's actually really cool. A lot of the bloggers that I see on my Instagram are through Like to Know it, and I just, I get lost in their Instagrams just because they're really pretty. Next is uh, Alex and Ani app, Nasty Gal, Lululemon, Ikea, Pink Nation, Overstock, and Wayfair. Next is my sports app, um, Panthers, ESPN, Carolina Panthers, that one's self-explanatory. Next is my news app, I do like to stay informed, actually I'm super informed, if any of you follow my Twitter, I will link that right there, um, CNN, USA Today, NPR News, and then for reference, I used to have an education folder, when I was in school I had a lot of psychology apps up there, but now they're just not up to date anymore, so I took those off, so I just transferred everything and just made it a reference folder. So I have dictionary, actually the Merriam-Webster dictionary, gotta be clear on that one. The Urban Dictionary app and then also dictionary. And yeah, that is my, what's on my phone? Um, I absolutely love my phone. Um, I actually have a bunch of cases for my phone. I have this one, it says say la vie, which is essentially meaning live your life. I have another one, so I have two more from Milky Way Cases, which is where this one is from, my nice little pop socket, and then on my lock screen, you guys can see that, my home screen, that case is from Case Defy, and it's their military grade one, so yeah, that essentially just concludes everything that is on my phone, 
I do need to play around with some of these apps that are up here. Um, but yeah, hope you guys liked what's on my iPhone 8 Plus video. I liked filming this and it was super cool because now you can essentially just swipe up and press that screen recording button and you'll be ready to go. Um, I don't know eventually if I'm going to upgrade to the iPhone X 10, maybe once they get a little bigger. But I don't know, I'm comfortable with the home screen button. I'm just, yeah. It's all about that. So yeah, if you guys do want to see one of those videos where how I make my thumbnails with PicMonkey, please let me know down below. If you want to see how I, uh, how I edit some of my Instagram photos, please let me know as well. Because I'd be happy to do that. And yeah. If you guys have not already, please click that subscribe button that's right there. And also give this video a huge thumbs up for what's on your phone videos. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.